Alright, we're back with another part of Spooky's House of Jump Scares. We're gonna see how this one goes. We are definitely romantic, bro. You're just gonna be here for the rest of the game. Am I never gonna see or hear from you again? Oh my god. What happened to your lower jaw? He's like, I don't know, man. Why are you asking me a question like that? It's like, I had to eat it. I didn't have anything to eat, so when I was chewing, I just started eating my lower jaw until it was gone. God, romantic, bro. That's not romantic at all. Alright. We may stop at 500 today. We'll see. I'm hoping now it's going to be every 100 levels it saves. I mean, it'd be nice if it decided to switch back to the other one, but I doubt it will. I'm guessing this will just be the same exact stuff. Error? Yep. And then... Same thing here? Yep, okay. This is what we've waited for. This is it, boys. This is war. Alright, let's do this. That seems like the type of room that Spooky would... Threshold of Consciousness. Oh no. Well, hello there. Are you lost, little one? Am I tripping right now? So is this a horror game that was made to be like child friendly? This place can help those who are ready, I'm guessing. but expect turmoil more than you are used to. Oh, awesome. This place can help those who are is ready. Is that everything else? Expect turmoil more than you are used to. Okay. Is that it? Thanks. This place can help okay, 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 I get it. Thank you. This clock does nothing for me. Should I be paying attention to the time on it? So what, it's like 12.55? I'm gonna get killed. Should I go in the different one? I'm gonna get killed. Oh! My god, what is happening in front of me right now? Okay, okay. You know how some games have seizure warnings? This game should have like, I don't know, drug warning? If you are high on anything, do not play this game because you will literally lose your mind and probably completely go mad. I'm not on anything and right now I feel like my mind is breaking because of this scenery. What on earth? This is so weird. Balance is key to keeping your mind free and sane. Okay. Uh, I'll remember that. Balance. Balance is important. Is there anything for me in here, or should I just head back out? Uh, I'm just gonna head back out. Okay. Well, don't know what that was about, but that was weird. Are your eyes red? No, it's just the pink that's around that makes the black look red for some reason. That was completely insane. I wonder if we're about to get some more. Oh my god, Kyube. Yeah. Yeah, it looks just like the cat from Madoka. Or Madoka. Hey, 11941, how's it going? Absolutely not call this game child friendly. Why do you say that? Is there something coming that makes it very not child friendly? It's the same thing. I am dying. Okay. Guess I'll go this way now. It's a little bit weird. Well, I mean, not just the art style, but the fact that everything so far has been like a 
child-friendly type of horror. None of it's been anything, like, that's not safe for children, I guess you would say. It's all, like, it has the cutesy design for children, but it also has scares that aren't, like, severe or anything that would actually be traumatic or anything like that. Two sides of the same coin. Knowing your projections can help you achieve greatness. There's a ton of gore in this game. Oh, that I haven't gotten to yet? I see. What is this, the Eye, Eye of Saugon or something? Oh my god. Am I actually supposed to be doing anything in these rooms? Because if so, I'm not doing a good job right now. Did Sinner forget when he was playing his spooky murdering all the mall people? Okay, yeah, those video game portions, those were kind of... See, I don't know if this is a glitch, or if this is supposed to happen. Not talking to me. Kiyube turned into a black square. Oh my god. Did it break? The mask you wear serves its purpose well, but be careful not to lose yourself in it. Put on your mask, be who you... Be... Put on your mask. Be part of something. Or not, or not, or not, or not. You are not something like that. Uh, be who you something others. Where is it? Where is it? Come back. What was it? Be who you are to others. Man. Weird computer thing. Be you up. There's a phone ringing somewhere. Who knows where. I think my game broke, guys. I think my game broke. Oh yeah, needles and eyes is super child friendly. I mean, yeah, that is a little bit grotesque, I guess. It's just had so many like cutesy things, and so far anything scary hasn't. I don't know. Maybe I'm just different. Oh my God, dude! I hope this cat wasn't important because he's dead now. Literally just dead. I can't believe I killed the cat. Violent and disturbing content. Yeah, so I'm sure there will be like some crazy stuff that comes up. Oh no. Yeah, I think I think the game's broken. Wait, I lied. That is an interesting room. This is also an interesting room. Hmm. They definitely haven't run out of ideas yet. Something's behind me, isn't it? There's music. That normally means there's something behind me. Um, are those, like, limbs and things? Do I need to stay away from the walls that have scary-looking faces on them? Are they dangerous? Can they kill me? I don't know what to think. Okay, yeah, it seems like the game might be moving into one of the... not child-friendly parts, maybe. I guess we'll see what happens. I'm really starting to wonder if walking into those faces hurts me because I don't know if I've done it yet or not, and I'm just sort of trying to avoid it naturally just to be safe, but I don't know. I can't believe we're still so close to the beginning of this segment. Like, we're only 18 rooms in now. I know that we had, like, a small portion where we weren't making progress when we were over there with Kyubei, but still. I like the music. Bow, 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 bow. 
Wow. Wow. But I guess the main reason that I see this as being something that they tried to make child friendly for it is if they made this game but had more like realistic characters instead of cartoon characters and just made it a little bit darker and added like just those small tweaks that wouldn't really take too much to do then it would be like a really Jesus what am I experiencing right now these types of levels are ridiculous uh, come on bro then it would be like an actually scary game that would really be like that I'm not saying this isn't scary I'm not saying that this is a bad scary game or anything like that I'm enjoying it a lot. I wouldn't still be playing it if I wasn't enjoying it. I'm just saying they had the choice to do it with like cutesy cartoon characters and stuff. Because there seems to be an interesting story in the background that it seems like they've been putting lots of people, they seem to have hundreds of people killed by these different creatures in the facility. And it seems like for whatever reason they want the soul to remain from the people that they kill because they were saying like there was that one monster that isn't right because it like doesn't leave the souls or something like that. The souls aren't there. So it seems like there might be an interesting story that we'll get to discover in the background. So if it was like really realistic to where it definitely isn't child friendly, then it would be more in that much scarier type of a horror thing. Okay, are we back in a part where the ceiling thing can attack us? Is that what those are? But yeah, that's the reason that it seems like maybe it's trying to be child friendly, but I'm not sure. Because there are some things like the sticking the needle in the eye thing where... I mean... It's a bit gory. It is something that I would say is kind of like on the verge for if there were going to be children or something. But yeah, I don't know. They use Q graphics for the same reason a version does. Did they say that? A version's not a horror game, though. Right? I don't know. God, I love these thin rooms. Right, we're over halfway there. We can totally make it. Every time we've gotten to places where something would be attacking us, we've done just fine. What I'm most afraid of is if we start getting chased by a puppet, and I simply don't react properly, like, I have to immediately realize I'm getting chased by him, and start looking behind- what on earth, dude? That was kind of disturbing. Not gonna lie right there. Saw a skull back there, I'm not even gonna mess with it. Yeah, I feel like that's something that might be a bit disturbing for a child. That the cutesy cartoon things that were there the whole time suddenly had that weird grotesque face. I miss romantic, bro. It's like an anime character would do something like that. Randomly just like referring to things as romantic or something. Even though it it's kind of weird. Never heard people use it that way. Alright, something's following me and I don't know what it is. I don't like the way that things are changing right now. I'm so close. I don't want to lose this. It doesn't seem like it's the puppet. I feel like if it was the puppet, I would have been attacked by now. Dude, chill. Please. Please. It's when you're closer to the end that everything gets a lot worse. Like, when I say that, I mean uh, jump scares affect you more. Because now it's like, oh my god, I'm looking at the goal. I'm looking at the room, like 15 rooms away from me. No! I can't see anything. I don't know where I'm going. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. Honestly, I, I can't. I'm not able to do this right now because I can't see what I'm doing. I think this is it. Oh my god, please don't mess up on me again. I really need this. Look at how much life I don't have. If I get like one horrible glitchy moment, or if I walk to the wrong door that's locked, I can't see anything. Go, 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 please. We're so close. I'm stuck! Okay. We're free, we're free. We're so close. I cannot get screwed over right now. I need this. Don't get me stuck again, please. 
and no more locked door problems. I'm so close. I am so close. Literally all they need to do right now is just send the Puppet Master after me and I won't be able to stop in time and I'll die. Or rather I won't be able to turn around in time. I'm so close! I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm gonna die. I can feel that I'm gonna die. And I don't want it. I'm gonna make it! Oh, thank you. I'm saving before you kill me. You're completely disappointed. The next door has been fixed up for you. So enjoy and keep moving on. Yay. You little fleshy live one. Okay. Bye. Oh my god. Jeez. So we've got pumpkin and we've got cheese. I would chill in here until I get my life all the way back up, but I'm probably going to have that thing come and kill me. But I'm going to end the video, so I guess I will be chilling anyway. If he kills me, he kills me. I already saved. But yeah, we will be back in a moment to continue. Actually, I don't know. I really want to continue, but I also feel like now would be a good time to take a break. Go back and record some more to the moon or something. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll ask chat. So whether or not I continue will just be to sad after this. So if I'm coming back in a second, then I will see you in a second. If not, then I'll probably see you tomorrow, which for you this will actually be like probably within the same day or it will be tomorrow that you get the video. So have a wonderful day, all of my yawns out there. And don't forget to feed your pets.